Here we are on a sunny day at uh, RIT, the Rochester Institute of Technology, where the, um, all the American Solar Challenge 2012 cars are being displayed. And we are with uh, the team, MIT team, the Solar Electric Vehicle Team. And here's the team captain, Bruce. And Bruce, tell us a little bit about your experience this time. Um, well, so far this race has been quite the experience, just being able to qualify. Um, We've had some things have come up and just more and more and we're quite happy that we're able to qualify and compete in this race. Um, this car, we had raced in WSC last year, so with all the modifications, it's been quite the challenge we have to compete. How many years have your team been uh, at MIT? Uh, we started in 1985. So. Oh, okay. I think we've seen your car last year in Australia for the World Solar Challenge 2011 also. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned there's change in the regulation. Is it just on uh, the square footage of the uh, uh, solar cells? Um, no, the square footage is the same. It's things like our uh, chassis, the different roll bars that have for safety. Um, pretty much ASC is more concerned about safety than WSC is. So there's a lot of things we had to change that make the made our car more difficult and yeah, because we didn't design for those when we built it. It has been a challenge. What did you have to change? Um, for instance, can't see it, but our, uh, we had added a second roll bar. Um, we had to change the brakes we were using, which have caused us a lot of difficulties. Um, we've had to, just a lot of other small things. Um, we also redesigned our suspension system at the same time to work with Michelin tires. So it's another just change to, from our original design that What's the overall weight of your car? Um, it's about 360 pounds, I think. Uh, total, I th they listed us at 560, I think, with driver and everything. What about the size of your, uh, let's say, solar cells? They're all silicones, right? Yeah, they're silicone, um, sun power cells, uh, six square meters, uh, fairly standard. Uh, we did the encapsulation ourselves. Um, to save uh, weight and price and different things. Were you able to get a lot of uh, company in solar industry to help you out in terms of uh, donation? Uh, not in the solar industry, actually. Um, okay. For ourselves, we had to buy them. Uh, we got our batteries donated, uh, but for the most part in the solar industry, uh, it's we've had to get money from other companies to, to pay for those stuff. Oh, okay. I wonder, um, hours, how many hours do you do you think it took a lot? A lot. Um, so we mostly work during like school and probably an average week, probably spending at least 10 hours a week. Um, some weeks it's a lot more than that. And then a lot of us spend like the entire summer working. And that's uh, easily 12 hours a day, every day. It requires a lot of diligence, I can see. How many of you guys are new? members and how will is it more than half less than half here there's only four of us that have been on a race before so most of the people here are new or haven't had a chance to go on a race did it take more time than you anticipated uh yeah uh different things doing the redesign definitely pushed back our time scale it yeah. always takes more doesn't it yeah, how definitely. about in terms of your team members were they uh, uh considering going into solar industry or becoming solar entrepreneurs or are they these this is something off in the future that uh, very few have been thinking about uh yeah most are just interested in building the car um there's a few material scientists that are interested in that sort of thing um but mostly it's a, it sounds like an interesting project and there's potential that people are going into that later on. Did you have fun? Definitely. Okay. Well, this is a great sunny day and we hope there will be plenty of sunshine for the uh, remaining of the week between 14th and 21st when the solar American Solar Challenge is actually going to be taking place. All right, good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Signing off, Susan Sun Nunnemaker with SunIsTheFuture.net.